Hey fellow workers, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. Before I get into the main message of my video, I just wanted to let everybody know that with it being a new month, last month a third of my income came from my political writings, my social media work, and my YouTube videos. And for that, I'm really grateful. I have been seriously impressed with the amount of support I've received over the last couple of months. And this financial support has made it possible for me to be able to continue to push out weekly videos, push out daily news stories, and to be able to participate in social media conversations. Not only is it a third of the income that I made last month, but it was also twice as much income as I made in March from my political work. So I'm grateful for that. Thank you, every one of you who have supported me over the last few months. If you're new to my channel and are interested in supporting me financially, please check out the information at the end of the video or visit kimsiever.ca slash support. And now onto my video. I've argued capitalism with a lot of people. One argument I've seen service frequently is that no other economic system would work because people are naturally greedy. Capitalism would naturally emerge in any other economic system because humans couldn't help themselves. There are a few issues with this argument. Humans have existed for about 300,000 years, give or take a few thousand. Capitalism, on the other hand, has been around for only about 500 years, assuming we don't include small-scale merchant operations. If capitalism is natural, why did it take 299,500 years to emerge? Humans still exist today, not because of capitalism, but because of communalism. If you place an unarmed human in a locked enclosure with a lion, the lion would overpower the human. As individuals, humans can't defend themselves against predators or catch and kill prey. Humans would have died out from starvation or as prey. When humans overpower predators or prey, it's through communal efforts, either through combined strength and numbers, tools created through communal knowledge or labor, or a combination of the two. Even today's capitalist societies still have a foundation of communalism. Other people grow our food, sew our clothes, build our homes, teach our children, bind our wounds, and so on. The lives of each of us is intertwined with the labor of others. Communalism, not capitalism, is human nature. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all these subscribers and Patreon patrons who make this video possible. Please visit my website at kimsiever.ca. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Medium. If you appreciate the videos I share on YouTube, the posts I write on my blog, and the content I share on my other social media accounts, please consider making a monthly donation either through PayPal or Patreon. If you agree with the points I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video and subscribe to my channel. Please click on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Solidarity.